Monday, August the 8th, and uh, this is the gold chart, and the number as of 6.54 Eastern Time, as the all-time high for gold is now $1,723.20. It has fallen from the level. As I'm speaking now, gold's trading at 17.2190, thus it's down about... $1.30 from its all-time highs right now. No need to panic on downside moves. Of course, I'm being sarcastic, although it is up fairly nice. This is six straight weeks uh, up in a row, and uh, this week has only begun, and right now it's already up 3.3% for the week, and it's closing in on this upper band. This upper band is 1743 that gives it a little bit of room, and it, as it goes higher, the band would slowly increase as well. So maybe roughly at around 1745 or so as an area where it would come up to this level. When it comes up to that level, that's where you're looking for areas of resistance. That's not always the case. What else are you looking for there? You're looking to see if it can uh, find a way to stay within the band, come back and forth within it. I call it hugging the band. That can happen sometimes. And you can also wait to see if there's any parabolic moves that can come within it. Right now, gold's not going parabolic. It's not going to have a 100-point day or a 150-point day unless it can do something about this uptrend line. I don't think it will do too much. Usually, if you hit it like uh, 60 or 100 times, it might go parabolic once. It doesn't do it too often. But it is interesting to see right now how we have the stock market just hitting lows that have not been seen for quite some time. And gold's just going to go higher. So what's going to happen if, say, the stock market bottoms and goes higher? It's going to bottom at some point. Is gold going to follow the stock market and go up with it? It's a possibility. And maybe there's a situation where stocks would go up and gold would go down because gold is overextended. It's really difficult to see. But what's easy to see is how gold's in a superior uptrend. And there's no signs whatsoever about calling a top. Now, as far as a trend line is concerned, I think it's important to note that it has broken above this significant trend line, which can oftentimes cause increased of volatility. We'll see how this ends up playing out, but it is definitely a bullish sign when you're when you see in moving averages when here in the 1550s and the price is over 1700 right now. That tells you that it's overextended, and at some point it has to top, but it's very difficult to say what uh, what will be that some point. For example, if this does a reverse of the Dow Jones, I've shown this that chart how it's just been crushing through the band. If this crushes to the band of the upside like this, then we're seeing gold at 25, 2600. It's a possibility because when it goes parabolic or when volatility increases, more will follow, making it easier for those major gains of 3% a day kind of uh, situations. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Alrighty, we have silver here, which is down from its lows of about $49.80. Therefore, it's down about uh, 20%. And ironically enough, so is the uh, Dow Jones from its high. But it's a more volatile situation where the stock market has undercut its previous 2011 lows. 2011 lows here are $26.30 and well above that point. I'm going to put up a trend line, the one that I was following for quite a decent amount. This one in here. Now what's happened is this level has found resistance in this area. I think it would be easier if I gave you a shorter view. Okay, so here we go. We got this uh, same chart, just less uh, periods. and This was a, a brilliant trend line. All it did to start was connect this and this. That was it. But since it connected that point, it found perfect support, 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 broke below it in here and found resistance. Okay, so what's the parallel line? Well, I do the exact same rate of ascent, and it's by doing so, I can just merely draw over the line and then move this lower, find the best point. The point that I was using was the one that connected the key lows like, the, like it did in here. Okay, so obviously it, it fell below this line. It's finding resistance. And we can do another calculated move by taking this uh, 
the, the same range match it somewhere along here a simple copy and paste and then match another line that's not the best of matches that's a good one and notice how it found support pretty much precisely within the level but came right back in towards here I, if it breaks below this trend line I would be getting a little more cautious but at the same point if it does break below this we see another down day in stocks then maybe we'll participate at the end of the week like it did last week last week silver and gold went up with the stock market going down and all of a sudden silver went down with the stocks maybe that can happen again break that line and then when the stock market bottoms silver will go up with it and then when it's all said and done silver will be making new highs when the dow jones get back to uh, some lower level that's a possibility now i'm going to uh, segue this to uh, finish this video by asking a fairly simple question all righty and the question is what is gold and silver all righty i hope you got that and uh, the market's now opening currently up 0.6 uh, percent and we'll uh, see how this thing plays out going into tuesday because we got ben bernanke speaking that'll be interesting take care